Atlanta. President Trump received a thunderous welcome from thousands of gun lovers as he appeared here Friday at the National Rifle Association's annual convention to thank the group. It's unwavering support of his presidential campaign. A supporter of restrictions on guns before he entered politics, Mr. Trump became a fierce champion of gun rights during his long shot bid for the White House, earning early backing and $30 million in campaign support from the powerful lobbying group. And so, just shy of Saturday's 100-day milestone in his presidency, Mr. Trump came to say thank you and was received as a hero after successfully installing a conservative Supreme Court Justice, Neil Gorsuch, seen as a likely protector of the Second Amendment. Only one candidate in the general election came to speak to you, and that candidate is now the President of the United States. Standing before you, Mr. Trump said, you came through for me and I am going to come through for you. Before the president's arrival, conventioneers watched hours of videos mocking former President Barack Obama, Democrats and anyone who has advocated gun control measures. The crowd erupted in booze when the large screens showed campaign commercials from last year attacking Hillary Clinton, the losing Democratic nominee. They also laughed as television clips showed members of the news media, Hollywood stars and even Mr. Obama predicting confidently that Mr. Trump would never be elected president. Mr. Trump stepped in front of the friendly audience amid a flurry of activity back in Washington. In just the past few days, his administration has released a tax plan and made and then rescinded a threat to withdraw from the North American Free Trade Agreement while Republican lawmakers reignited their effort to repeal the Affordable Care Act, and Congress passed a short-term spending bill needed to keep the government running. Mr. Trump has also already made some modest moves in support of gun rights. He signed legislation, reversed an Obama-era rule would have required the Social Security Administration to provide information about mentally ill people, background checks on gun purchases. Gun control organizations accuse Mr. Trump of supporting what they call the extremist agenda of the NRA. In a statement on Thursday, two of those groups, Every Town for Gun Safety and Moms Demand Action, vowed to oppose efforts by the gun group to allow more guns for anyone, anywhere, no questions asked. Those gun control groups are planning a rally, Saturday in Atlanta to demonstrate their willingness to, stand, and fight back against the NRA, leadership's dangerous, guns everywhere, agenda that contributes to the more than 90 Americans shot, and killed and the hundreds more injured every day. Mr. Trump will be the keynote speaker at the NRA convention, which will also feature Interior Secretary Ryan Sink, Senator Ted Cruz, Republican of Texas, and David A. Clark, the Milwaukee sheriff and a prominent Trump supporter. After the event, Mr. Trump is expected to attend a fundraiser for Karen Handel, the Republican House candidate in Georgia who will compete in a runoff in June to replace Tom Price, who left his seat to become Health and Human Services Secretary in Mr. Trump's administration. For Ms. Handel, who has been a poor fundraiser, Mr. Trump's help is a boost as she competes against John Ossoff, a Democrat who is receiving enormous financial support from around the country. Miss Handel also needs to energize Republicans to support her in a primary, is likely to have low turnout. 
her willingness to be part of a high-profile fundraiser involving Mr. Trump suggests that she believes rallying his supporters is her best bet to defeat Mr. Ossoff.